Good evening, viewers. Hope you had a wonderful Sunday. And we are pleased to join with you again today on the Church of the Nazarene Baptist District Family Forum. And uh, again, we thank you for your comments, your um, words of encouragement, and ideas you have shared as you view you've viewed these programs, focusing on family matters. As I said before, we have been motivated to do these programs because we are concerned about the decline in morals in, in our family, in the country in general. We believe that if we can tackle some of the root causes of some of the problems we experience in our country, that we incrementally will be able to help rebuild our family life in Barbados. We understand that it is important for us to work as a church, the home, school, and indeed the government as we try to reshape our country. We, we do agree the family is the core institution and we have to address the family if we want to bring about positive change in our society. And so today, we are tackling another, another issue, family-related, and we are focusing today on marital infidelity. Um, this is indeed a big topic, mm -hmm. um, but we know that we cannot obviously cover all the areas, but we want to zero in on some areas in this of this topic, marital infidelity. And uh, yes, why not call a friend and family member and uh, let us watch it, let us share together. You can watch it together as we share. Today with me again, I have my co-host, Reverend Anderson Kelman. Uh, grace and peace be unto you. A very blessed afternoon to you. All right. And uh, well, I want to share a verse with you. Um, from the book of Proverbs chapter 9, Proverbs 9, 17 and 18, two verses, as we start to dive into this topic of marital infidelity. Proverbs 9, 17 and, eight, 17 and 18 read, Stolen waters are sweet. Or she says, Stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the dead are there and that her guests are in the depths of the grave. I want to repeat that, those two verses. Stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the, de the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of the grave. Very interesting extract from the book of Proverbs, and uh, it talks about stolen waters. Of course, in this context, um, it's a powerful analogy, um, it, a sweet, in the long run, it says that the dead are there. Speaking of the consequences, and her guests are in the depths of the grave. Interesting verse, Reverend Kelman. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a Friday of, of the old proverb, you know, mm -hmm. what's with a goat mouth, mm -hmm. you know, and the sorrow elsewhere. All right. You know, so it might be, it might be. Uh, a pleasurable experience initially, yes. But then the, the aftermath, the can consequences, be, can be very, very yeah, serious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to give us the opening prayer? Certainly. Mm -hmm. Almighty God, we give you thanks today for this special time. We thank you, Lord God, for the ability to be able to engage your people, Father, in this very important topic. We pray God for your direction. We pray for your covering. We pray God for sensitivity as we would address a topic that has such deep and grave consequences. We give you thanks even now. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Viewers, we shall be back with you in a moment as we continue to look at the topic, marital infidelity. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, welcome back to you. And uh, I believe that any discussion should begin with a definition. <laughs> and um, marital infidelity has to do with, with unfaithfulness, mm -hmm. has to do with persons who are cheating mm -hmm. um, on each other in the context of the, of the relationship, the marital union. Mm -hmm. Now, let me also say, though, that sometimes we think about the element of romance and, and, and sex, the actual... The, 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 the acts, but let me say that the, the, the whole idea of infidelity can be emotional as well. Yeah. So long before uh, the sexual intimacy begins to happen, mm -hmm. or, the, or, or the romantic you know, escapades, uh, just that simple um, idea of, of that other person, that third party, um, taking the place that of, emotional your, attachment. That, of, your, of, your, of your spouse yeah. uh, can be deemed uh, emotional infidelity. Mm -hmm. so, so, so that's where it all begins. Yes. And then, of course, then mm -hmm. the, the activity begins to happen thereafter. Yes. Yeah. And that, that's an important definition, uh, Reverend Kellerman, especially the last part when you mentioned, because there are persons who, in, in their minds, I, if there's emotional attachment, but there's no sex involved, yes. I'm not having an affair. Yeah. And that's, that's, a, that's really an incorrect uh, mm -hmm. understanding of, mm -hmm. the whole, of the whole challenge, because... Yes. I mean, before the, 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 the sex occurs, there, there, there's often terms of emotional attachment, attachment which, which mm -hmm. over time has, mm -hmm. has been fed. Yes. And then it, it nurtured, foods, you know, yes. and, um, yes. and the food becomes mm -hmm. the, the whole sexual yes. uh, reality, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think sometimes persons will probably want to embrace the view mm -hmm. that it's just emotional attachment yeah. um, as a rationalization. Right. To continue your relationship. And what I would say, Reverend Farley, though, is that if, if your partner has an issue with a third party relationship, then even though you might think it is harmless, mm -hmm. uh, you should still take note, though, yes. um, because that may be an indication of mm -hmm. their discomfort yes. with the level of, of emotional closeness. I mean, yes. you're, mm -hmm. you're a person at work all day, and mm -hmm. I'm, very, I'm very clear about. Not being gender biased on this one, yeah, of course not. Because I know that, that we men get um, get the end of the stick all the time. Yes. I'm very, very, I'm a very clear about that because it goes both ways. Yes. Um, so you see the person at, at, at work all day, and then you, you come home, and the person is texting you, or mm -hmm. the person is calling you mm -hmm. all during the evening. I mean, um, and sometimes beyond reasonable hours. Yes. You know. Yes. So if, if your partner says, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with that yes. kind of relationship, yes. then even though nothing has started to happen as yet, mm -hmm. in terms of the actual, uh, maybe, activity, mm -hmm. one should still take, take yes. note. Because those are signs. Yes. Those are signs that you have to pay right. uh, atten attention to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I just want you to, as we dive a little deeper into the topic, just wanted to share the um, perspective of Christina Fensky. Um, of the Orchard Valley Counseling Services, who offered um, seven types, information on seven types of affairs. And uh, it is, of course, we can't dive into each one, but it's instructive. One night affair, philander, philanderer type affair, where is a womanizer or man, manizer. <laughs> Split self affair, split self affair, romantic type affair, where the person is torn between, we say two lovers? That's right. Torn between their, their spouse and the outside party. And so I feel like a fool too. I feel like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> but still doing it. <laughs> and then, of course, you can't choose between one or the other, you know. Yeah, yeah. Then you have the Entitlement affair, uh, or, or what, it, what they call rock star 
or mm -hmm. royalty affair where the strain partner is charming and popular, successful, mm -hmm. and um, very powerful as well. Yeah. So the whole idea of the power and the perks yeah. somehow fill that relationship. And it's also a sense referred to as though um, you deserve more than one relationship. There you go. Yeah, your, it is true. Your prominence, mm -hmm. you know, your mm -hmm. level of, mm -hmm. of, of influence and affluence. Yeah, I you know. should not be limited. No, I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm larger than, than yes. this, you know, yes. I, yes. I, 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 because of my power and my influence, I shouldn't mm -hmm. be limited. I have the power to choose, yes. you know? Yes. If I want to have three, four, yes. I'm entitled. And I think persons who are in power struggle with that, though. Yes. Um, because the lot of persons are clamoring for their attention. Yes. yes. And, um, and almost they, they, they believe that it's expected that mm -hmm. I'll have more than one yes. Yes. relationship. Yeah. Yes. And it's so ticklish because Sometimes it's not necessary that a person sets about to do it, yes. but that kind of attention, yes. you have to be have well disciplined yeah. not to fall into the trap. Yeah. And of course, it continues the exit affair, mm -hmm. where persons will have an affair on purpose, so to speak, mm -hmm. because they don't want to get out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, exit affair, just to end, they want to end the relationship, so they figure if I started an affair, my, my partner would probably give yes. me exit without. Yes. Pressure, yes. And, and that and that also creates a, a, a kind of a, a, a precursor to a discussion we're going to have. I'm sure a bit later mm -hmm. um, to tell or not to tell. Mm -hmm. And so, Mister Tell really is a, it's just that you know yes. I tell because I really want the party to get upset and angry mm -hmm. so you can exit the relationship. Yes. You know, yes. yes. You can find me out. Yes. And yep. the person, of course, the person being offended is not even necessarily aware, aware of the person's yes. agenda. Yeah. yeah. Of course, then you have a sexual, sexual addiction affair where um, the offender is obsessed with having sex at any cost. Mm -hmm. That's the scary part, mm -hmm. at any cost. Mm -hmm. and, some, and sometimes it, it, it could also be an issue of the person's own um, psychology as well, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. um, where they, they almost as though they need, well, they need multiple relationships yes. uh, for that level of sexual satisfaction. But, yes. but again, sometimes I mean, to feed their ego. To feed their egos, right? Mm -hmm. But but again, and that's an issue that that could only be dealt with on a on a uh, individual basis because mm -hmm. there are persons who have sexual addictions. Yes. Yeah. And of course, in order to help some person like that, you have to find out the root cause. Cause. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 mm -hmm. What's the origin? What's that mean and, to them? Yeah. Because yeah. it's a power issue. Mm -hmm. it, could, it could be a power issue. And sometimes know, yeah. it has a lot to do with um, abuse. Abuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in the in the in the mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. much in the young year young years mm -hmm. and so on. Things mm -hmm. might have happened in early life mm -hmm. um, that perhaps were never shared. Right. And, and so they make a, dis a disconnection. Yes. Between between relationship and sexual activity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, and persons can become such that it's just the idea of sex is, is an event in itself it begins and ends yes. there's no there's no emotional um mm -hmm. connect there's no sense of of even romance you know um, right. the act of sex is just what it is sex mm -hmm. yes you yes. know and um yeah yeah mm -hmm. i and i think that um to deal with that type of addictive relationship you have to be able to help the person to identify mm -hmm. how it how it how it how it's built up yeah because it doesn't just suddenly happen. Yeah, any addiction. Any addiction, yeah. Yes. The person has to be able to, yes. uh, to understand, you know, um, the triggers. The progression also, yeah. triggers, right. Yeah, and to develop some, some behavioral mm -hmm. contingencies. Yes. And to contain the, the yes. behavior in initial stages. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And of course, mm -hmm. to admit that is a problem mm -hmm. is critical, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then of course, the, the other one mentioned by Christina Frenskai is intimacy and conflict um, avoidance of fear. We, we avoid you to deal with the issues and just more or less that seems to smother them for a while. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I mm -hmm. call it a friend, the, the, the play that we know is a fear. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to play that we know I'm going to go shopping. Yes. You know, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really a, an avoidance mechanism, yes, really, right, you know, right. Uh, mm -hmm. to uh, not deal with issues at home. Right. And you, f you basically flee to this other person mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. For, for that measure of comfort. So it's almost as though 
you know, uh, home is there's a challenge at home, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going somewhere where, where there's no challenge, yes. uh, where there's no demands either, you yes. know, because yes. uh, this person knows that they can't make demands on me because I'm already um, given, over to, given over to someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it becomes exciting because it doesn't have the kind of pressure, but eventually mm -hmm. it creates problems because once it get, becomes known, then your partner of course, becomes angry, and that creates a different kind of a dynamic you know, mm -hmm. in, the, in the home, in the home relationship. Yes. yes, in many ways. Yes, yes. And of course, there are several reasons, or causes, mm -hmm. for marital infidelity, sexual frustration. It can be a desire for simply for revenge, mm -hmm. and it happens. Mm -hmm. um, curiosity, mm -hmm. how does it feel to cheat, mm -hmm. and get away with it? Mm -hmm. And sometimes a person would cheat. Mm -hmm until they are caught, and then perhaps it will stop. Yeah. But it depends on when they are caught. Because yes. after a while, it can become a habitual. Habit, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, for some people, it's boredom, mm -hmm. a need for acceptance, mm -hmm. and recognition. Funny enough, that one is more common than people think, the need for acceptance and mm -hmm. recognition. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, depression mm -hmm. and other mental issues, mm -hmm. mental health issues. Mm -hmm. Again, persons may not, um, well, relate sexual infidelity to mental issues. In some way, it helps that person to mm -hmm. soften the pain, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I mean, we need to acknowledge and admit that um, that sexual connection, sexual activity. Uh, does give an emotional boost. And yeah, pain, yeah. You know? but that's how God made us, isn't it? Yes, it so means, it's nothing to deny. Right, the, the, whole, the whole brain, brain activity, brain activity. is one that mm -hmm. uh, bolsters. You the know, ecstasy, the yeah, yeah, uh, and so on. That's how God made us. But Mutual transmitters are, 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 are inflamed during, yes. during sex, so we feel right. great. So, right. mm -hmm. so, so for persons who are depressed, that, that could be yeah. uh, a, temporary, a temporary height for them in, yes. in, in, a, in a sense. But the problem is it doesn't deal with the issues. That's right, that's right. But once you come back down to earth, the issues are there. And so, so, so even more issues because you feel guilty sometimes. It, there you go. You, know, you feel that like you have a partner who really cares and loves mm -hmm. you, but here's mm -hmm. what you're doing. Yes. But yes. I observed the a Friday that you it's about recognition, mm -hmm. and I was thinking that, that 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 could also be subsumed in terms of uh, culture as well too, because yeah. mm -hmm. living in a culture that uh, in in some ways uh, promotes um, infidelity, you mm -hmm. know, um, the the and this is probably where the the gender issue may come in here now. Mm -hmm. If they're very careful, they kind of, of hard made a hard seed, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. That that kind of con that kind of concept, yes. you know. That that is. And clear. and therefore you're saying, the uh, uh, pardon the expression, the so-called the ram is respected and celebrated. Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, you know, mm -hmm. um, as a, as you also grew up, you, you heard. Uh, uh, discussion about the, the, the more notches on your, on your gun belt, you there know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so, so although, although some fellows tell, make tell like tellers <laughs> <laughs> because it makes them feel popular, yeah. Yeah, some, some fellows tell like, but, but yeah, we, we know that for sure, yeah, okay. Right? But yeah, but, but but the whole the whole social, mm -hmm. um, you know, construct of, yes. of being um, seen as you know, as being popular, mm -hmm. uh, especially among us as, as males, yeah. You know. And sometimes that becomes an issue for teenagers too, you know. Yes. Teenagers, where their peers put pressure on them, right. have that, you know, I'm the popular person, and, yeah. and it happens. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I, I think that it has become so pervasive in some, in some ways that there's an expectation mm -hmm. that in your marriage, in your relationship, that um, there will be some cheating. And to mm -hmm. me, that's, 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 that's sad yes. because of a I still am a... A resolute believer mm -hmm. that you can have a marriage mm -hmm. where there is where there is fidelity. fidelity yeah. You know, uh, but there's some persons who who will say openly, you know, I expect that mm -hmm. my husband or my wife yeah. will cheat on me. Yeah. And, um, I don't want it to happen, but I believe. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, I came across an article which talks about evolutionary psychology, um, an extract from Time magazine. I don't remember the issue that made a statement about this evolutionary psychology that long life, long monogamous devotion just isn't natural. 
and the modern environment makes it harder than ever. Yeah. This, this whole idea of, um, well, as you said, yeah. it, it is a natural. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was thinking about it, you know, <coughs> and um, some of the, some of the, the I think it was, it was a male Freudian mm -hmm. that was talking about the whole element of relationships and, and that same construct came out as well. Mm -hmm. Um, that, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact what she said, I'm trying to, I think it was Kerry Horney, um, what she said, though, was that, you know, to have a, a relationship of fidelity that, that, that's enduring mm -hmm. is not only unnatural, it's odd. but it's also suffocating as well. <laughs> you know, um, I, I, I could be wrong with the person, but it was mm -hmm. Neil Freudian, mm -hmm. you know, um, and she was pr promoting that mm -hmm. one should not worry oneself about having um, long relationships mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's not a, a natural thing. And then sometimes you also have the other mindset where it is accepted that men would be unfaithful. Mm -hmm. yeah. And therefore, I mean, as you have said just now, when we talk about marital infidelity, it goes, goes both ways. And, and I think, though, I think though, Robert, for that, <coughs> that, that, that's a truth that, that though uh, may have been you know, valid many years ago mm -hmm. is no longer because I think a lot of the, the, the older females, and this is where the gender best again comes in, mm -hmm. would accept, you know, um, their husbands having uh, another another relationship, especially another family. Yeah, two and three. You know? Um, but you have no of cases just, where... Just on the road. No of cases where a child or children resulted and the, 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 the wife Taking the children mother, and raising them. Mother, all the children. You can see yeah. after they, a, a Monday woman or that. Right, but that's the point I'm making. I'm making is that, and some, some, some of it was because they, they weren't they weren't working or they weren't earning as much as they mm. as, as mm. their husbands yes. able to access yes. Yes. Um, these kind of behaviors, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And it seemed more culture normative then. Yes. But I think there's a level now of you know resistance, resistance. you know to that kind of behavior. Yeah, and I think as as well as well as well. It, it may be because that's not, that's not ideal. Mm -hmm. uh, I, because we, we want to really make the point, although we're looking at um, what are some of the causes, we want to make the point, just in case it's misunderstood, that we believe that persons can be faithful. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Um, again, another cause for, for um, infidelity is sexual, as I say, we, we mentioned that before, sexual addiction. Also, um, urges for sex without intimacy, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, escape mm -hmm. it is as a way of escape. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And these are just some some of the reasons. Right. Um, but Reverend Kelman, in your capacity as counselor, um, dealing with some of these issues, mm -hmm. which one of these, which some of these causes you find more prevalent? Well, well, speaking at the very general level. And general level, of course. Persons are. Uh, very sensitive these kind of issues, especially mm -hmm. when when councils are speaking. Yes. Uh, but at a general level, I, well, of I would say I would say the, the element of of the, 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 the social the social norm that, mm -hmm. that persons cheat sometimes yes. um become prey to that. Yeah. And uh, I would say um sexual frustration as mm -hmm. well as mm -hmm. uh, the need for connection. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that sometimes uh, relationships with a father can mm -hmm. become very stayed yes. and lose their spontaneity. Yes. They, they, they can lose the freshness. Their freshness there. Zip. And, and of course, we know it that. It can happen we, if we, we don't we, we know work that, on it. That over time, yes. things will change. Yes. Um, but it, it does not mean you have to lose that sense of mm -hmm. energy yeah. in your relationship. Uh, yeah. you know? I think uh, it has to be a deliberate effort yes. to it work has on your relationship. Intentional. Right? intentional yes. And I'm strong with that, though, yes. because mm -hmm. I, I find that that a lot of couples, you know, mm -hmm. become very staid mm -hmm. in their relationships yes. over time, and uh -huh. uh, and to me that gives uh, even 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 the physical appearance it gives room, it gives room, and it yeah. gives room for mm -hmm. persons yes. um, to to edge in certain ways, you yes, know, yes. Um, you know. Well, we we we're gonna come back in a moment, um, viewers. The time gone has gone so quickly, but we'll come back in a moment and share some closing comments. Just want to let you know the next program we will look at um, how do we rebuild relationship when trust has been broken. But we will come back and give you a few closing moments, closing thoughts. The Church of the Nazarene Family Forum, shaping our society for the future by enhancing our homes and securing our destiny. 
Come join us every Sunday at 5 p.m. on CBC TV 8 as we turn the spotlight on an aspect of family life of critical importance to us. Tune in and be blessed. Well, welcome back to you. Um, this has been a very, a very interesting discussion of Farley. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just want to make a, a quick note, though, that um, oftentimes the element of infidelity can begin long before persons even get married. Mm -hmm. um, at times it can be in evidence even during the courtship. Yeah. And that's why it is so important for persons to be able uh, to work through these very these very um, sensitive issues very early mm -hmm. on. But Reverend uh, Kelman, sometimes people say, you know, okay, well, after we get married, I will stop. And that's the point, though, because, because the marriage <laughs> will be a continuation yes. of, of the courtship. Mm -hmm. it, the, the marriage will, will, will hardly ever be better yes. than the courtship. Yes. And so if there's infidelity or, mm -hmm. uh, or suspected infidelity, that's a serious warning sign. Then mm -hmm. that's what that's you need to address and yes. deal with. Yes. Uh, because the root cause may be, uh, may be very, mm -hmm. very significant in mm -hmm. terms of, of, the, of the person's thinking. Yes, because they would say, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm married, I'm committed to you. You can guarantee I'm not going to stray. Right. But and as you said, that, that's and also an important, excuse. It's also important to know, to know as well your partner's history mm -hmm. and their family dynamic as well, yes. too. Yes. Uh, because the truth of the matter is that we tend to reflect in our behaviors, mm -hmm. um, our appearance. Yes. And, uh, and even though you might say, well, but no, my, my dad did it or my mom did it, and that's not what you want to do. Mm -hmm. The reality of it is that this is, is, is what you know about. Yeah. This is what you know. That and without serious help, right. it can happen. It can take, be a curve. And persons tend to continue yes. and to, you yeah. know, um, again, uh, uh, manifest those behaviors that were present right. in, their, in their families. And, yeah. and, and even, even sometimes in terms of persons not wanting to, mm -hmm. but it almost becomes a psychological a predisposition. A vicious cycle. Right? Um, and, uh, so and, you and almost say it's almost a generational thing if you're not careful. Yeah, as a person will call it generational curse and stuff, mm -hmm. but you know, I mean, I don't want to get that right now, but, but certainly I, I believe that the psychology of it is such mm -hmm. that it can continue across generations. So you're saying we cannot, should not go into marriage blindly. No, we shouldn't. We, we should, should. And those issues are issues we need to be talk. honest about. Uh, our past and yes, so on. Yes. Well, well, um, viewers, this topic can really go. Obviously, we understand much longer, but we, we want to end by saying, though, that we want to um, emphasize, Aaron Kelman, that marriage can work, has to be hard work. Sometimes that's the problem where persons don't apply. You know, up first, up front in the relationship, they're very zealous and passionate, but once they have been married, then they relax mm -hmm. um, to the point where they don't put any effort in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So, yes. so it, it calls for effort. It calls for mutual effort mm -hmm. and working towards the relationship. Yeah, I agree with you. Really. It calls mm -hmm. for intentionality. Yes. You know, um, a person not understand the benefits of a yes. of a good marriage. It has to be um, nurtured. Yeah, both yes. into the, the physical benefits yes. or into yes. the health. Yes. Uh, persons who love each other and care for one another, mm -hmm. um, there are tremendous benefits to them, yes. as well as the family as yes. well. Yes. Financial benefits because we have mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. take care of two or three households. Yes. It's a dream financial, so there's right. so many benefits yes. to working the marriage. through yes. and making a marriage strong and successful. Okay, listeners and viewers, we are going to just pray at this time. Father, we come and we thank you for marriage, the institution of marriage. We are conscious that there are times where Infidelity steps into the picture, but we believe with your help that changes and positive changes can come about as parties realize where they have fallen short. Marriage, marriage can work. Marriage can be a beautiful experience. I pray, God, that for marriages out there at the moment that are struggling, that they realize if as partners and they come together with the help of God and friends and sometimes counseling, the marriages can be reinforced and strengthen. We thank you, Lord, even for our happiness in sharing these ideas. We give you thanks to Christ's sake. Amen. Well, viewers, join with us for the next program as we focus on rebuilding trust in broken relationships. God bless you.